Good afternoon, Banneker family. Good afternoon. I am excited to welcome you to our new home. I'm the proud principal of Benjamin Banneker Academic High School, Anita Berger. Thank you. Welcome to Mayor Bowser, Thank you. Chancellor Fierapy, and our other distinguished guests. I would be remiss not to acknowledge all the Banneker achievers that are here today, both past and present. Thanks to all of our stakeholders, and most importantly, thank you to Dr. Vincent Reed for, for his dream of a model school that would be a college prep school for students in all wards of this city. So we are forever grateful to Dr. Vincent Reed for his legacy. To the alum, I know you're here. Come on, let's hear from the alum. Former teachers and administrators, 40 years of success, 40 years of excellence as Banneker's rich legacy continues. And we're going to continue that trajectory 40 more years. For the teachers and staff today, this signals a chance to witness the fruits of our labor in dedicating the state-of-the-art facility. We have worked many years to reach this moment. To the students, your advocacy, your advocacy has made this dream come to fruition. I am so proud to be a part of this ribbon cutting. It's been a long time coming. Words cannot express what I'm feeling right now. This is much more to me than a beautiful building. This is a heartfelt moment for me, as you can see. Sorry about this. I love you too, guys. Thank you. I cannot wait to see our Banneker students thrive in such an amazing place. We did it without this, so I know we're going to continue to do it with it. Welcome home, achievers. Welcome to our new home. And now, I know it's warm out here. I'm not going to stay here long, but I would like to welcome one of our seniors, Jabari Paul. He will come and introduce the mayor. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Hi, my name's Javari Paul. I'm a senior at Banneker. Thank you all for coming. I just wanted to explain a few reasons why this school is just truly amazing and why I'm so glad that this community and everybody has just allowed us to have this special space. Everything around this school and every, all the hard work that my peers and my former peers, my teachers have all gave us is truly have allowed us to have this building and have everything that we need to have. I just think that it's, it's going to help all my students strive and all my friends, all my community, all the people in my community are going to be great here. And I just think that it's amazing that we finally have this opportunity. Like all the other students in this, this DC, <laughs> this, this city, it's amazing. I just can't wait to have science here, have special classes, do experiments, especially now that we're getting back from distance learning and all the stuff that we had to do before. It's just going to be amazing. And with all the hard work, it really shows me that when you put your mind to something, it really can come out and you can have dreams come true. It's amazing, it's amazing. And I would just love to thank my community members, my friends, and everybody that put all the work in here. And I just can't wait to just be a student, have fun, and just really drive at this building. And thank you all for listening. And now I'm here to introduce our mayor, Mario Bowser. Wonderful to see everybody uh, today for uh, what we have worked together. 
uh, to make a beautiful opening and a beautiful welcome home to the young people of Banneker. I want to uh, thank all of you, students, staff, teachers, alum, community, uh, for working hand in hand with us to make sure that the construction of this beautiful $135 million facility, state of the art school for the Banneker Achievers, 100% of whom go to college, participate in sports, and are leaders of their community. Uh, so when I see these children, and you know, they're young adults, but our children, uh, and I see the faces, um, their faces now and the faces three years ago uh, when they came to my office uh, to tell me uh, and to tell everybody that it was time to build their new building and build it now. Are you with me with that, Banneker? I want to uh, thank your principal, Principal Berger. Give her a big round of applause. What Principal Berger didn't mention, um, when we sat in our office and talked about the plans for our beautiful citywide academic high school, I asked Principal Berger, because she's committed a good part of her career to these young people. And I said, Principal Berger, we have a big job ahead to cement the future of Banneker Academic High School. And I need to one, know one thing. Are you going to be there on opening day? Uh, and she said, I promise you, Mayor, I'm going to be there on opening day to lead this school and to lead these young achievers. So once again, Principal Berger. So, you know, this, this is like Super Bowl week for D.C. public schools. Uh, and it's even a bigger Super Bowl week because our young people, uh, a lot of whom, and especially our secondary schools, have been learning at home for more than a year and a half. Uh, and in order to do that, their teachers and the staff of all of our schools had to pivot on the dime, had to be innovative, to come up with engaging materials to keep our young people in the game and learning. So can you give a big hand to our teachers here at Banneker and all across DCPS and our public charter schools? We are so grateful to what you have uh, accomplished. I also want to acknowledge and recognize the members of the council who are here. You're going to hear from uh, your host council member, Charles Allen, in a second for Ward 6. Uh, but we've also been joined by council member for Ward 5, Kenya McDuffie, and council member for Ward 2, Brooke Pinto. Give them a big round of applause. We are grateful in this city for the partnership between uh, the mayors, uh, me and the mayors before me, and the members of the council, uh, present and past, who made a commitment, a huge commitment in 2007, uh, that we would have world-class facilities across D.C. And we've invested more than $4 billion. Some students have waited longer than others to have their renovated facilities. And the students of Banneker Academic High School school uh, waited for their turn and they got a beautiful building you're going to see uh, to enjoy. I also want to just highlight uh, year after year that our Banneker students are putting in the academic work uh, and they're recognized for that academic work uh, and now they also have an athletic facility uh, to support the athletics that are happening here. And on top of that, a lot of the community facilities that were already in use, including the skate park and dog park, are also going to be enjoyed right here on this campus. So that's a very good thing as well. You're going to hear um, from Chancellor Farabee. Uh, you'll also hear from our construction uh, team in D.C. government, DGS, about everything that is happening. Chancellor Farabee wants you to know all of the preparation that D.C. has undergone, our experience with it, so that we're welcoming our scholars and teachers and staff uh, to safe buildings in a well-thought-through uh, experience. But I'm asking everybody to do their part. Part two, um, because all the students here at Banneker are eligible for what? Vaccination. 
Every one of them. Uh, and so we want families to know that when you're vaccinated, you protect your children who can't get vaccinated, who are uh, below 12 years old, uh, and all of your students who are eligible, who are 12 years and older, uh, can get vaccinated right now, as uh, is the case for all of our teachers and staff. So let's have a safe school year. Let's get to learning, and let's see our beautiful new Banneker Academic High School. So Jabari, thank you for that introduction and please share my appreciation to your colleagues who will be joining you here on Monday. And it brings me great pleasure to uh, introduce your council member, Charles Allen. How are we feeling, Banneker? This is, when you get a chance to go inside in just a minute, you are gonna be blown away. It is spectacular inside. I got a chance to take a sneak peek and one of the things that people kept commenting to me over and over and over again is this is what we should do for every student in our city. It is going to be the pride of the District of Columbia. Uh, I heard from so many folks that said it feels like college inside. It is a absolutely stunning building, a beautiful building that respects our students and Ms. Mayor and to DGS and to the entire team they have done a phenomenal job in creating this space for the Banneker community. So let's give them a big round of applause. I'm grateful to be joined by several of my council members. The mayor uh, introduced them, but I also want to again thank Councilmember Brooke Pinto for being here. That we're at the point where kind of Ward 6 and Ward 2 and Ward 5 come together. And we're also joined by my friend Kenyon McDuffie. Now, he feels so strongly about Banneker that he also married a Banneker alum and your sister is a Banneker alum, right? So let's give them both a round of applause, please. I also saw my, my Ward 6 State Board of Education member, Jessica Sutter, here. So thank you, Jessica, for joining us. I know you're out here somewhere. And as beautiful as the space is inside, I'm also thrilled with how it is outside. No, no school is an island. It's a part of a community. It's a part of the fabric of the neighborhood. And I know that we have some of our ANC commissioners here, Commissioner Nigro, Commissioner Eichler, who we're going to hear from in just a little bit. Uh, but I also want to thank Bob Carter and other neighbors with the French Street Neighborhood Association, others who stayed very engaged to really help create this dynamic space that is going to serve the student population, but really also be just an amazing asset to the community as well. So we're really thrilled. So thank you all very much for your hard work. And lastly, to, to the senior class that's coming in, I... Your advocacy was impressive. Uh, your advocacy made the difference, and you are going to really help set the tone. And I know it's going to be actually for classes and for generations to come as you start your senior year here. So we're incredibly proud of you. We are rooting for your success in this year. We're so excited to welcome you back to a new school in person and to our upcoming and incoming senior class. You guys are going to have a phenomenal year. So let's give all our students one big round of applause. And it's now my honor to bring up uh, the guy who has the hard job of running the entire DCPS system, not just here at Banneker, but at all of our schools. So let me introduce our DCPS Chancellor, Louis Farabee. Thank you, Councilmember Allen. Uh, it is a challenging job, but it's one that I relish in and truly an honor to serve our community. As we think about where we are today, I just got to remind you one more time, we are going to have school on Monday. Uh, it, it, it is a long time coming. We have been preparing, and we're so proud to open facilities like we have here today. We wouldn't be here without the leadership of Mayor Bowser, our council members, I know that we're celebrating this particular facility today, but you should know that in our five-year capital plan, we have over $1.5 billion dedicated to modernizing and updating our school facilities. So thank you again to Mayor, your leadership, also to our council members that have been recognized. Also want to uh, shout out our State Board of Education members. I think Jessica Sutter got shouted, but I also see Frazier O'Leary. Thank you for your leadership as well in serving our schools. DCPS and our public charter schools. Uh, as I think about where we are today, uh, it's been said previously, but I want to say it again. We have had a phenomenal leader 
over the history of this illustrious institution. And the achievement here is not by chance or circumstance. Uh, we have a great leader. Uh, Principal Berger, I, I can't say enough about what you do, uh, the way you lead. Uh, and if you talk to the student, they have a mama that is relentless. Uh, she is on them about their attendance, their grades, their character, their volunteer hours, any and everything that you can think of, she's on top of for the young people here. So thank you, Principal Berger, for your outstanding leadership. Great, greatly appreciate it. And, and what's so special about Principal Berger is she's a model for our school leaders across the district. Uh, she uh, is what we want all of our leaders to aspire to and to replicate in their experiences. The last thing I want to leave you with is that we are not only investing in our buildings, but we're investing in our educators. We're proud of the team here and across our city that has been prepared for school. We are nimble, agile, and we are preparing to meet our students where they are on Monday. Uh, we've invested in mental health supports. We've invested in our health and safety measures, and we want to ensure that every student has a phenomenal experience on Monday. Thank you all. It's a pleasure to serve you. And uh, thank you, Chancellor Faraby. And now it brings me, uh, uh, pr it's my privilege to introduce your ANC commissioner. We know with big, big projects like this, we always want the community to be involved. Um, in the beginning, during, uh, and to make sure that the partnership with the community in the school is successful. So I would like to introduce uh, Commissioner Michael Eichler. Uh, thanks, Mayor. Uh, thanks, everyone, for having me here today. Um, I actually live, like, right there, and I can see this from my front window, so it's excited to see it all happening in real time to be part of it um, as an ANC commissioner. Um, so let's see. Where am I on my notes? Uh, I'm definitely excited. So I've actually been in D.C. for quite some time, but I've only lived in Shaw for a handful of years now. And so as a relative newcomer myself, I'm excited to share some of my experiences with Shaw with the Banneker community. So first off, Shaw is very welcoming. So welcome. Um, we are very excited to see the new faces and to build relationships with, uh, the, with the, the Banneker community. Um, secondly, you know, the Shaw neighbors are very proud of the community, uh, the diverse uh, neighborhood, beautiful neighborhood that we built here. And we are excited to share that pride with uh, the, the Banneker community pride and to connect into a, a greater community together. Um, Shaw is very well connected. We have a metro rail station, like literally right there. We have multiple bus lines going through and a new bike facility that's coming uh, um, right up uh, down 9th Street. So we're excited that this is a really great place for a citywide school to be located. A uh, really great place for it. So uh, we're ha happy to see that that's happening here. And then finally, Lake Our Nation, Shaw is also unfinished. And I'm excited and optimistic that the opening in this beautiful new school will also provide an influx, with the influx of fresh faces, will inspire continued improvement to the Shaw community in general, and that we will uh, soon be a shining example of a safe, resilient, and community for all. So with that, uh, I want to welcome to Shaw the Banneker, Benjamin Banneker Academic High School. Thank you, Commissioner Eichler. That is a fantastic welcome to the beautiful and historic uh, Shaw community. I now uh, want you to hear some specifics about your building. I mentioned uh, that the DGS construction team has uh, been very focused on this with their construction partner, MCM Bill. Give a big hand to MCM Bill, who's done a lot of schools for us. So, um, Who's coming up from DGS? DGS. Yeah, here. Thank you. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Whew. Whew. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Mayor, Councilman Charles Allen, and the Banneker community, welcome again to the Banneker Academic High School. 
and the architecturally stunning new home of the Banneker Achievers. I am Tiffany Moore, Deputy uh, Director of the Capital Construction Services Division at the Department of General Services. Our director, Keith Allen, uh, I'm sorry, I'm so hot. <laughs> My apologies. Keith Anderson is sad that he's unable to be physically here with us today to celebrate this historic event. Our mission at DGS is to build, maintain, and sustain the real estate portfolio of the District of Columbia. Banneker is the ideal host for this day-long back-to-school celebration because this modernized space has something for almost all of our residents. As part of this 175,000 square foot building renovation, you'll see that the neighboring Shaw Dog Park and Skate Park were not forgotten. They received an upgrade for the community enjoy to enjoy as well. Together with DC Public Schools and the community, we started planning this project in 2017. We broke ground in 2018. It was our goal to design a new building that retains the college-bound educational culture that Banneker is known for. That's exactly what you'll see inside. The space is open with a college-level ambiance that includes state-of-the-art labs, instructional facilities, a new auditorium, cafeteria, and multi-purpose room. We're also excited about the new track and recreational field, two basketball courts, a tennis court. But what we're most excited about is that Benjamin Banneker, ooh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Benjamin Banneker Academic High School is among the first DC school to be net zero energy ready. While students are working hard to take their education to the next level, the building will soon be working to generate more energy than it uses through the use of geothermal wells and solar panels to harness energy. This project was a true collaborative effort, and I want to thank you, Mayor Bowser, for your commitment to enhancing the district's educational spaces. The project had 35% of certified business enterprises employed. Thank you to architect Perkins Eastman and general contractor MCM Bill for your hard and dedicated work. I also want to thank the ANC 6E and the community for working with us throughout this project. Special thanks also to the student achievers who advocated for change and pushed for a full modernize, modernized building. <laughs> Finally, thanks to my team, the DGS Capital Construction team, and <clears throat> the artists for the, DC, the DGS Percent for Art program for whose original work you will see inside and be amazed. Congratulations again, and welcome home, Achievers. Here's to a great school year. All right. Okay. My agenda says questions and answers, but I am going to move up to the ribbon cutting, uh, and then I'll make myself I'll make myself available for some questions after that. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Okay, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have you? Can we have you? 